ready 5 seconds sir each anniversary of independence is sacred to the country on each anniversary we remember our freedom fighters on this day we recall the builders of modern india today standing on the sacred soil of red fort i recall 1857 when our first freedom fighters came to this red fort i recall 1945 when soldiers of the indian national army were prosecuted here their only crime was that they fought for the freedom of the motherland in 1947 at this very place pandit ji hoisted the flag of independent india today when we are assembled here we remember the ideals the principles the values and the dreams which inspired our freedom fighters to win freedom for the country today all of us assembled here we dedicate ourselves to that cause on this 40th anniversary we naturally think not only of the events of the last one year but of the last 40 years at the same time we look forward to the future as well our elders got us freedom and entrusted us with the responsibility of safeguarding and maintaining that freedom it is our responsibility to protect it during these four decades we faced many situation a number of threats and also pressures we faced conspiracies we faced aggressions we did not bend we protected the unity and integrity of india with our courage our blood and our sacrifices we should and showed to the world that india is strong india is one and it cannot be divided we demonstrated to the world that no one can enslave us again we made it clear that nobody can weaken the unity unity of india we made it evident that no sacrifice is too big for the security of our country the independence of our country and the unity of our country no amount of labor no amount of sacrifice is too high a price to pay for this purpose our soldiers our officers give the best years of their lives to guard our frontiers and to defend us in return we look after them we provide them with the best of weaponry and ammunition we see to it that they get the best tools we are pledged to do so the freedom of india means the freedom of the people the freedom of india means that we should strengthen the roots of democracy and hold impartial elections in which every citizen can participate we conduct parliament in such a way that the voice of the people of india is listened to and which looks after and builds the future of the country the meaning of free india is that it has an independent judiciary and rule of law free india means that it has a free and unfettered press but it is not so easy to protect democracy especially when we find that there are people who endanger our freedom through irresponsibility and indis- indiscipline who show disrespect to the constitution and its institutions through their behavior still we have demonstrated that the roots of democracy in our country are deep our people must remain alert 
it is only a government based on democracy that can function in a country like india our great economic achievements have been acclaimed all over the world gandhi ji had taught us that the process of development and the task of building the country should begin with the poor people by eradicating poverty he taught us that the moral duties should be kept in the forefront in our national life we have taken the country forward towards these very objectives eradication of poverty has been given highest priority we have used our entire energy in eradicating poverty indira ji gave a call for eradicating poverty she brought about a new awakening in the country as a result of which there was reduction in poverty because of her new economic program and other programs for rural development be it nrep or irdp or any other there has been improvement in the lives of the poor people of the country we see that the picture has changed during the last 40 years 40 years ago two third of india's population was below the poverty line today two third of the population has come above the poverty line this achievement is due to our anti poverty programs they have also smashed the hold of feudalism eradication of poverty has been carried forward through the green revolution as a result in just a few years time thing have improved considerably on the four fighters as earlier there was drought 21 years ago prime minister has to seek food grains from foreign countries how small she felt when she has to bow down to others for food grains it was then that she decided that never again would india appeal to foreign countries for food grains she overruled her technocrats and her other advisers and took steps which brought about the green revolution in the north western part of the country indira ji's foresight and hard work of farmers produced these desired results sir each anniversary of independence is sacred to the country on each anniversary we remember our freedom fighters on this day we recall the builders of modern india today standing on the sacred soil of red fort i recall 1857 when our first freedom fighters came to this red fort i recall 1945 when soldiers of the indian national army were prosecuted here their only crime was that they fought for the freedom of the motherland in 1947 at this very place pandit ji hoisted the flag of independent india today when we are assembled here we remember the ideals the principles the values and the dreams which inspired our freedom fighters to win freedom for the country today all of us assembled here we dedicate ourselves to that cause on this 40th anniversary we naturally think not only of the events of the last one year but of the last 40 years at the same time we look forward to the future as well stop